Okay, so we are here at the spot, my favorite spot, my happy place, any other spot, and uh, I don't like it that much. It's just so quiet out here, and it's amazingly great. There's so much area to fly and do whatever you want to do. Oh, can't put those on. I'll just hook them on here. But yeah, let's get this bird up in the air and uh, let's see how it goes. I forgot to put a Loctite on my on my screws, so they all they're pretty much all undone except for the ones on the motors because I did put Loctite on them. But I noticed it from the Jello I was getting from my camera, and sadly, I really like this camera. It's it's really clear, and um, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, it just it doesn't have enough tilt and. The most I could have gotten it to go is about like this much. Actually, no. Well, this much and still see where I'm going. As soon as I went to like here, just to push it down this like long road, it was sad. I, I, I just saw the ground and I'm not trying, to, not trying to fly like that. But it's awesome. Weirdly... Whenever I have tape around these two ESCs, if you guys can see that, it doesn't, they don't like work. I don't know if it's, I, I don't know what it is. It could be the carbon. Yeah. Well, I, I've, I've only used four and one ESCs and I feel like I don't use separate ESCs a lot. 
I mean, I actually don't. All the ECs I have are like from five years ago, and they're they're Simon K. They're Simon K. And like the first gen BL Heli. Uh, all right, this is getting too long. But anyways, it was fun. These um these ZTW Polaris 25 amp ESCs, they're great, and they need no modification to run D Shot 600. And whew, I can't tell you how smooth it feels. Um, I'm actually still learning like how to fly and everything do tricks and all that stuff so the video you guys are going to see it's going to look pretty amateur noob newbie 